السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي. We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him, we thank Him for everything He has provided for us. And we send blessings and salutations to the Messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon him, his companions, his household, and of course all of you as well. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless all of you and to reward you for all of your actions and your intentions to make it to pray tonight and all of you about that. Ameen. We are around a time that is very special to certain people. If you would have known your children have officially been off from school now, if they're going to a public school, due to Christmas holidays, Christmas break. And a lot of us might wonder, why do people celebrate Christmas, right? Why do Christians celebrate Christmas? If you YouTube, why do they celebrate Christmas, you might find different answers, right? Where is the origins of Christmas? We think that, like as some people believe, that it is the uh, birth of God. I don't even know. They believe it is the, the, the birth of Isa al Islam, not true as well historically. But the question is why do they celebrate Christmas? People hear this idea that, oh, it's St. Nick and it's because of the solstice and because there were pagans that were worshipping things. Let me tell you right now, that's not the reason they celebrate Christmas. The reason that they celebrate Christmas, the reason Christmas is celebrated is because they left their book and the sunnah. It's as simple as that. When you leave the sunnah of your messenger, for them it's Isa Islam, and you leave the teachings of your book, which is the Injil, which doesn't exist now. When you leave these two things, there is no guidance for you. That's why the Messenger Muhammad Wasallam explained to us, I'm leaving you with you two things. If you hold on to them, you'll never go astray. Now today you'll find groups of Muslims saying, no, 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 only Quran, I don't listen to anything. I don't listen to this, no, 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 only Quran. That makes no sense. If you would not like the same ending of those who are performing uh, innovations in their religion, we have to make sure that we hold on to both. We have to hold on to the Quran and the Sunnah. This is an example of what happens when you leave your book and the Sunnah of your messenger. This is the example. People will innovate and begin to celebrate things that the messenger said never to do. If Isa Islam came, would he be happy or like, wow, oh, this is amazing, we're celebrating the day of the day? Never. The more you stray away from the sunnah, the, way you, the more you stray away from these things and the book of Allah, the more you will be in the trap of the shaitan. People are celebrating Christmas because they don't have the authenticity of a book. They don't have the sunnah. That's what makes Islam special. We have narrations of what our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. Others don't. That's why they went astray. So that's their excuse. But what's our excuse? What's our excuse for innovating in our religion? Okay, they were not documented. They were not, you know, fully compiled at the time of their messenger. Okay, that's their excuse. That's a valid reason. But what's our excuse? What's our excuse for innovating in our religion? What's our excuse for not following the teachings of the messengers? Also? Are they not available? Absolutely are. But when we approach Sunnah, we just say, oh, it's just a Sunnah. It's just, it's just a Sunnah. When we have this approach, we are bringing less value to the Sunnah, like it's just a Sunnah. The Sunnah is a blessing from Allah. Allah SWT commands us to obey Him and the Messenger. They go hand in hand with each other. If you want the correct love, if you want to love Allah, then obey the Messenger. It's simple. The formula, the recipe is simple. Because if we leave and abandon the Sunnah, if we just think, oh, it's just the Sunnah, it's okay, it's fine, it's just the Sunnah. Then we're going to end up like others. We're going to end up celebrating things, innovating within our deen. Because we're going to think we know more than Allah, a'udhu billah, never. We're going to think we know more than the Messenger, a'udhu billah, never. 
It is important for us to follow the Sunnah, for us to follow the Quran. Otherwise, we will begin celebrating days that don't even exist. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to bless us, to guide us, to protect our children from the fitna in the world, to protect our children from the education of falsehood in the world, and allow us to be proud and to have enough, uh, you know, secure and you know, pride in our religion where we have enough knowledge to share with others that what Christmas actually is and what Islam actually is so that we can guide people to the straight path. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa to guide people to the straight path. Jazakallah for listening, guys. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Mashallah illa 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 Appreciate you listening. Appreciate you listening. That's all I got to say. I never want to be too big to put away my own chair to turn off the mic. That's a level of success I don't think, I think no matter what success I have, I'd always want to turn off the mic, put the chair back myself. So I'll thank you guys for this